totally get it. I totally understand. You are so self-conscious. You don't like the way you look. You don't like the way you talk. You don't like this about yourself. You don't like that about yourself. You constantly are beating yourself down and holding yourself back. I want you to understand one thing. You are not alone. We all have things that we feel self-conscious about. Why do you think so many people use Botox? Why do you think so many people have plastic surgery? Because we're all struggling with something internally. So today, I want to help you ease the pain. I want to help you ease the sting. I want to help you ease the burn. I want to help you ease the hurt of the way you view yourself or things that happen to you or things that people say or do that automatically make you feel self-conscious. And in the process of helping you, I'm also helping myself. Because like I said, you are not alone. If I'm being totally transparent, I have several things that I feel self-conscious about. I'm not the tallest dude. So when people make short jokes, I feel it. I talk with a lisp, I have an overbite. So let me give you a few tips on how I overcome my self-conscious moments. Number one, accept your flaws. Understand that you are just as imperfectly perfect as everyone else on this planet. And it's okay. Be okay being who you are. Embrace the uniqueness that makes you you. Embrace the so-called weirdness that makes you you. Embrace whatever so-called flaw or whatever look, whatever size, whatever it is that makes you a little bit different than the next person. It's okay. Number two, just like an elephant, you got to develop thick skin because others are hurting. Other people feel self-conscious too. So what do they do? They try to hurt you. They try to make you feel less than just to make themselves feel better. But you're not falling for that anymore because you understand that they're hurt and hurt people do hurt people. So it's okay to say a prayer for them, but it all costs keep it moving and never, ever, ever allow their ignorance to destroy the beauty of who you truly are. You gotta give yourself room to be human. You gotta give yourself room to feel. Because when they say, when they do something that hits you right on that trigger point, it will sting. It will burn. That's why it's so important to invest in personal pep talks. It's so important for you to invest in positive mental conversations. Because as soon as they hit you, nope, not feeling that way. I know, it is real, but you know what, I'm real too. And I'm totally happy with who I am. So whatever they say, whatever they do, I'm not going to allow it to manifest and build and burn me on the inside. Number three, know your worth. Never forget you are a valued member of society. You are a valued member of life. You were born, you're here for a reason. God don't make no junk, and you're not junk. But you keep allowing yourself to feel a certain way. You keep allowing others to make you feel some type of way. <laughs> Come a little closer so you can really hear me. Because right about now, you're still in the dark. And you know what I need you to do for me when you're in the dark, right? Turn the lights on when I'm talking to you and make sure you don't see yourself through the eyes of those that don't value you. Know your worth, even if they don't. So in spite of all your flaws, in spite of everything that makes you feel some type of way, that makes you feel self-conscious, you are enough, you are worthy, you are valued. If you don't value yourself, what makes you think that somebody else is going to value you? It doesn't matter. Each and every one of us, we have our own flaws. We have our own problems. We have things that make us feel self-conscious. So this is the day you start using these tips. So your outer smile has a matching inner smile. And you find yourself 
climbing over the hump of all of your self-consciousness and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to love you some you and an even better day to win. Let's go.